recently we just released a short film called Covers. It's um, a production that we uh, are proud about, you know, we're happy that we made it and we just want to share a producer's cut with you. We're growing, connecting with the great film community, great talented actors and actresses, um, producers and other people alike in the field. And we're just enjoying this process and hopefully you've enjoyed the process if you've watched the film already or if you're looking to watch it after this video. So join me on a producer's cut for covers, our short film. Big shout out to Bolladay who came through with these really cool drone shots. You know, I, I think it really just seals the whole production as a whole. I remember the day when we were shooting and um, we was like, look, let's try to see if we can fly between buildings, around buildings and you know, scaling up and down and so forth to really capture the look of Stratford, which is in Newham, East London, where I live. And I just really wanted to capture it from a very, you know, panoramic view in the correct position. There was one shot we wanted to get, we was, we, you know, it was going between two um, buildings. There was high winds on that day, but we really needed to take the shot. Um, we had just that day to shoot and the drone uh, went straight into um, somebody's front room. The arm of the drone broke, which was unfortunate. So we, we, all we got was what we got. You, you never really film in sequence. You know, you write the script, to in sequence. You know, this is the, the scene, this is the, the, um, the setting, this is the dialogue. Almost like a linear fashion of like start to finish. When it comes to like filming, you know, <laughs> you've got to film what is most practical. Sometimes the weather, sometimes, you know, it's timing, sometimes it's people, sometimes it could be um, um, you're running out of shots and time, you know. No, so you've got a lot of shots and you're running out of time and you've got to figure out what's going to come next. For covers, we was meant to actually go out and shoot on the, on the um, it's, called, it's called the High Street of Stratford. We was meant to go and film the, the couple walking, but we didn't have time because before the date, um, one of the, the actor had a car crash. You know, not a severe one, it was just more like a, a you know, I think a scraping or trading of paint. Um, so he wasn't best pleased, but again, professional, turned up and got the job done. So we had to scrap a lot of that because the time we wanted to start shooting from, we couldn't. We had this small um, hotel room and our production office literally was, well, I often say office, but our production area where we had all of our equipment and so forth um, was inside of the, the, the toilet, the toilet bathroom kind of, you know, unit. And it was tiny. And we had, to, we, had to, we had to get all of our stuff in there and also preserve the set. I wanted to film inside the toilet. I like to use literally every part of the set that I've, that I've got, that I've paid for. But on this occasion, we needed somewhere to put our stuff. And we couldn't put it in the hallway, couldn't put it in another room. So we had to use, um, because of the budget, we had to use um, all stuffed in front of the, in the toilet. So we had to use that the best way we could. Another thing with Camera Productions, as you see from her airings, over to her phone. Um, as much as we can, we affect the props that we use. So the scene that you see, normally a lot of it is um, our in-house design where we design things, where we augment things, we Photoshop things to really give our productions the most personal feel it, you possibly can get. Like there's a lot of things within our films that you wouldn't be able to get anywhere else you know, we put it together, the framework of apps and um, designs and logos and so forth. It's, it's part of how we create. So it's not just shooting, um, but we also the props that we use and the way it's displayed and the thought that goes into it as much as we can. Once you pull back the covers on all of those items, most of those items are, are bespoke. So we've, you know, we might get a wine bottle, but then a label itself will design it. So everything intricately we work on to really convey the story correctly from from the script, trying to stay true to the script as much as possible. Um, Alfred Hitchcock says something very simple, he goes, make your audience suffer. Um, so you don't want to leave them too long, but leave them long enough to make them make, have that bit of suffering. Like, what are they seeing? What did they see? You know, um, don't cut to it too, don't, don't give the treasure too quick, you know, like string it out a bit, allow emotion to rise up in people that are watching it. And, th and that's what I'm, when I'm editing, that's what I look at. I'm looking at what am I, conveying how do I feel when I'm watching this what does it do to me does it string me out does it make me feel bored what kind of emotions am I getting and when I show it to other people as a test before I release it 
what emotions, where, where do people respond to? What's, their, what's the beats of my film where do, do I get the desired response I wanted to when I first wrote it or when I, um, when I put that editing um, cut together? Do I get that emotion that I was intended for? This, one of the scenes that I enjoyed so much was when they got the knives out. I, I really loved this period of scene. Now, this is crazy because it was the day after um, the Alex Baldwin situation. Um, on, on set, on his film set, we discussed things. We ran through many takes to make sure that everybody knew how to hold a knife, where to drop the knife, um, and to make sure that everything is above board and safe. We actually forgot the knives on the day. So when we came to shoot, I remember I was going through all the stuff, I'm like, where's the knives? And I left the knives back at home, which I was like, ah, this is crazy. Um, so we was local to Stratford, obviously, um, and one of my friends, um, lived there and he was like, yeah, I got some knives. So that's literally his knives um, from his kitchen. So, um, yeah, you know, um, I'm happy about friends, isn't it? <laughs> really, really helpful. Hats off to, to um, Miles and Yasmin, you know. They had to be literally, uh, like, positioned on their knees for a lot of this, this scene. Um, and again, some, sometimes, you know, what happens after a while when you, when you might be kneeling on a pillow or whatever, Eventually, you're going to start to feel the pressure. Um, so they really push them through. I mean, I like hats off to actors and actresses who really um, go above and beyond to, to bring a scene together. Again, this is not just a shooting and it's just it. There's so much that goes on behind it. And that's the reason why I made this, is that everyone can understand that there is more to the cake than just the icing and the decorations. You know, there's more inside. So your support, your help, just like you would help a filmmaker in a GoFundMe campaign or, you know, um, by sharing it, whatever it is, just say thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video, our short film. And yeah, if you want, you can buy me a coffee. The link will be in the description below. Yeah, look out for the next one. Sign up to our mailing list because we've got many in the, in the pipeline to come. We're writing, we're filming, we're producing. We're enjoying what we do. So thank you for being a part of it and God bless.